welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about this video because I want to share my basic essentials. And these are essentials I have accumulated over the past few years. So I want to start off by going in groups while I show you my items. So I think I want to start with tops, then skirts, then I want to show you some dresses, and then outerwear, shoes, and accessories. So I'm so excited to share with you because I think this is gonna be so helpful for you guys. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up some images while I go through them and if I don't have an image I am gonna show you in a little video right after I describe it. Getting dressed for an event is really making a good first impression with how you dress. People judge you how you dress, that's just how it is. So if you dress appropriately uh, that is something you don't have to think about. Then you can just go ahead and show you, let your personality shine and don't have to worry about your outfit. So for tops, as you know, I love a classic white top. This is the one that I put on my Instagram and I also shared it in Insta Stories. So this is my latest favorite white go-to top and this is from Zara. Um, this is off-white. I really like a brighter white, but this will do. It's off-white, it has a bell sleeve and it has it has a double peplum. This is something I go crazy over. I just love a flowy white peplum top. And it has a little embroidery here. So this is in stock. I found it in the store. I'll go ahead and see if it's online so I can link it. I also think it's really good to have a white or off-white flowy top. So again, this is something that is a really good basic. Um, I love this detail here. And it's again, it's a bell sleeve. I got this from H&M last year. So I'm going to try and go ahead and link anything similar, but this is something I always go to. I'm wearing a blazer. I love wearing this under, and I love having the bell sleeve pop out. It adds more of a feminine touch to like when you wear a suit, it's a little more structured. If you haven't seen, I actually put this in my lookbook, in my first one, in my YouTube channel. So I'm going to go ahead and link it. So again, um, I love a flowy white blouse. Next thing is a neutral blouse. So this is something that's so hard to find. It really looks like a designer top. Um, it's a very nice material. This one I grabbed from Shein. I'm gonna go ahead and link it below. I put this on my Instagram and I went ahead and just went monotone with this and I paired it with a neutral A-line skirt. And this is something that's perfect for a dressy evening or even for Shabbos. Um, I just love this, it has a bow and it has a bow detail here and the bell sleeve. And again, my go-to pieces always have like a feminine touch, a feminine detail. That's personally my style. I love that. Um, so yes, a neutral blouse is really important. So I'm gonna go to some weekday, weekday blouses now too. So um, I don't find a classic white button down that I use daily. I really use my white blouses, but this is something for button downs. I really love a chambray button down. H&M makes very good ones. I'll go ahead and link it if they have it in stock or else something similar. Um, again, H&M is my go-to for these blouses. So it's a classic chambray. This is something that is really, it's like neutral. So if you layer it under a statement coat, which I did previously, I'll go ahead and show you. Um, or a denim on denim, or you could put this in an A-line skirt if you want to have more fun. Um, this is definitely so versatile. It is such a go-to for me. So again, a chambray shirt is something that is so essential and then we also have of course anything striped so of course you have a I have black striped sweaters tops um, this is a blue striped and again I'm not such a fan of black I only I have my classic black pieces but it's not something I wear so often so many of these basics are neutrals that I have here so again a button down I put this also in my spring my latest spring whole lookbook um, and again, a button down and it has stripes. This is something like on a very hot day, I want a statement, I want to go white. I go ahead, roll the sleeves, and I tuck this in a denim skirt and I have it half tucked in, half tucked out. So um, I really like put together and it does have some, it does have a pattern on it, it does have stripes. Um, so this is something that I wear daily in the summer. Um, but of course, I have to have something floral, anything. The floral is always so pretty, so feminine. So this is something I also posted in my latest lookbook video for spring. Um, this is from Amazon. You can go ahead and see the details in my previous video. Um, I'll go ahead and link it. This is something where you can wear with a denim skirt or you can actually even wear it for Shabbos. Tuck this in a midi skirt. So again, that is so versatile. They can mix these pieces for different events and with different looks. That's the whole key of all these wardrobe essentials I wanna show you. You can really mix and match. I'm gonna show you some sweaters that are a go-to for me. So of course, in the winter, I always wear 
a black sweaters. I wear longer length sweaters. So H&M lately has my go-to for that. I'm gonna go ahead and link it. Uh, this is very comfortable. You can go ahead and throw it on. This is also good for the airport. We are all black. Next one is uh, another sweater. It's classic. I always go to this and it's a striped classic. This is from H&M. It's very soft. I also got this in a black background with white stripes. Um, so I'm always keeping a lookout for these pieces, different sweaters. I have sweaters in neutral, I have sweaters in pink. I'm not going to go ahead and pull everything out. But again, sweaters and all these and all these shades, all these neutrals really mix and match with everything. Okay, I'm gonna go into skirts now. So of course the basic you always need is black stretchy skirt. Recently, rainbow has been my go-to for for just basic stretchy black, black skirts. Um, I wear this for the airport, I wear this every day um, with leggings, um, has a little stretch. H&M also has some options, but it stretches out, the bottom stretches out very easily. So I wear that maybe for exercise um, when I'm walking or jogging. But this is a skirt that I wear daily. Um, I actually get it, it is a little tight, but it's going to stretch. I wear it a little tighter than usual, so I get most wear out of it. It's like $10. And of course, I have to talk about denim skirts. So this one I'm wearing right now, I wear this every day. So this is something, I got this from Gap, this skirt. It's just a basic mid-wash denim skirt. So I want to quickly tell you the history with my skirts and how I found it, because they're not easy to find. So I have a few skirts here. And I want to show you what I have. Um, okay, so with denim skirts, so this is something where it has a little teal in it. I got this also in black. This one is from Estes Online. I'm going to go ahead and link it. She has some good options. Um, this one is, this one I got from Mango. And this one doesn't have so much of a stretch, so it's not so comfortable, but I really love it. So I wear it if I'm not going to be walking around. Uh, this one again is from Mango. This was from last year. Um, this one, okay, so I want to show you this one quickly. Okay, so then there's this one. Again, this is like a mid, mid wash denim. Um, this is something I picked up in Clothes Horse on Kings Highway. I picked it up a few years ago and um, it's very square. So I, I went ahead, again, many of my skirts are very square at the end. So I always go to the tailor and get it tucked in at the ends. It makes all the difference. That's with all my skirts. Many people ask me, oh, how are your skirts so nice at the end? It's because I tailor them. You have to tailor so many pieces if you want it to look great on you. That's the best way to personalize it. So. This denim skirt is something that I started wearing and then I stopped wearing it once I got my other more comfortable skirts for every day. So I really wanted a DIY because you know I'm all about a good DIY. So this one I decided I added I decided to add on pearls. So I went ahead and added on pearls as we see here. And um, this I got from this I got from Michael's craft stores and I went ahead and glued it on with the E6000 glue that I always tell you about. And yeah, I put a pattern on because, again, there's so many of these jeans like this. I want one so bad, but they don't have skirts like this. So you, again, you can go ahead and DIY it. And then I just went, I went all the way and I also really wanted to try a frayed hem. I untucked the hem and then I went ahead and um, if you untuck the hem, it already is frayed pretty much. I just let that go. This is like a statement, but again, it's DIY. That's why you can go ahead and have more fun with it. Of course, I have a white denim skirt too. Uh, this is again for Mango. Mango many times does have some options and it's from their Violetta collection. Again, you can see what they have for spring out right now. Maybe you can grab some pieces. Let's see, hopefully, if they make more denim skirts. So again, of course, this one I also had to get tailored because it had a very square end. Um, it's a little thick, but it's stretchy. Um, so again, a white denim skirt that also looks from Mango, and then I have a gray denim skirt. Um, I really thought I'd get a use out of this, but um, when, I'm doing, when I am wearing gray or a neutral, um, I wear this, but I don't get that much use out of it. This again is from Junie's. I have a light wash denim skirt that I wear also a lot, but um, I went ahead and got it tailored and it was a little too fit at the end, so it's not so stretchy. So I'm going to go ahead and use it when I'm not really much, when I'm not walking around as much or on, like, on the weekends. Um, so again, that was from Junie's and this was from Junie's. And believe it or not, I got it like over five years ago. 
think it was my first denim skirt. I was looking for like a, I was looking for kind of like a faded denim skirt, and that was perfect. And I'm looking now in the stores and they don't have it. They have a dark wash denim. I know very much in our community people are into having dark denim because they don't want to see that it looks like denim. But for me, I have a very casual style and I love playing off denim. So I really want to see the texture. So lately they don't have it. And I asked them, oh, do you want to go ahead and quickly like stock them? They, they don't seem to want to restock it. I really want to go ahead and create a denim line. Um, but um, that's a whole different story. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and show you some A-line skirts. So this A-line skirt that I wear to dub is a full leather. And in my first video, I talked about how I love when it has a cut across because it adds more flares. I really love that. This is something I wear. This is my go-to when I'm like going out on a date, I'm going out on, on Shabbos, um, and I'm wearing, I need a classic black piece. This is my go-to. Um, this one I got from Zara like over six years ago. It was on sale. And I saw this, I didn't see it before, and I grabbed it, and I wear this to death. The thing is, if something happened to this skirt, I wouldn't have a go-to airline skirt. It's so sad, and it's like, just hits my knee. Otherwise, I saw some dupes of this, and they're not, they don't look so, the, the leather doesn't look high quality, and this looks like such high quality, and like, I have it for years, and it's still, it doesn't tear. I'm just so amazed by this, and I wish I could remake it for you guys. And if I did see something similar to this, it was over the knee. So again, someone who's like, I'm like almost 5'6", again, it's really hard to find knee length stuff, and I'm not going to go ahead and wear above knee just because, okay, that's what's out, I'm going to go ahead and deal. This is the way I live with my modesty standards, so I'm not going to go ahead and change it because right now the trend is over the knee. It's never going to happen, it's just not me, you know? And of course... You have to have a neutral, and again, this is like a pleather. Um, this is from Forever 21. I linked it a few years ago. And again, when I go ahead and link these classics, I find many people don't buy them. And then when I go ahead and style them, people are like, oh, where is it? And they start messaging me like crazy. Oh my God, where do you get it? Why don't you go ahead and link it? Um, why don't you go ahead and show us some things that are in stock? And I do link them right when I get it. But if you don't catch it right then, it's going to go out of stock because it's a classic. So I'm just letting you guys know. Again, my Instagram is style by Frady, And I'll let you guys know when I do find dupes. Another A-line skirt is always good to have like a nice statement A-line skirt. Like for Yantif, for Shabbos. So this is something that I love. This is like a copy of an anthropology skirt. H&M went ahead and produced this this past summer. I was going crazy over on LinkedIn. It showed you guys right when it came in stock. And it had a lining to the middle of the skirt. Go ahead and I basically decided to create a slip the same color and I go ahead and just layer this underneath. It's very thin. So then this whole thing is modest. Because that's that's the way because that's my way of life. So um, I went ahead and fixed that. So this is my go-to when I want a nice statement outfit for spring, for Shabbos, this is it. Okay, so the next thing is that you always need a classic blazer. So um, I have a black blazer, I have a few other colors, but my go-to is blush because it's my favorite color. So again, this is blush. I went ahead and put on my, my I put on my first lookbook on YouTube on my channel. This is something where it's perfect with like a white flowy blouse that I just mentioned here. Um, I put this with the denim skirts and some nice statement shoes. Some outerwear here. A classic trench, of course, is so needed. You could pair this with anything. Um, yeah, this is a go-to. Every time I need something to match anything, I throw this on. So I put this on my lookbook too. I went through a lot of trenches, and this one is from New York and & Company. And I just love how it goes out a little bit, and it has, of course, the buttons, it has a belt, even has this detail, which is a plus on the sleeve. So I love this. Take a look here. I love this. This is really a go-to. It was on sale for like under 70, so I went ahead and grabbed it. I'm going to show you that I have like a black, white, and a, of course a blush coat. And this is something where I find with A-line skirts, a long line coat is very much needed because this really pairs nicely with it. Um, so yeah, I have this classic black one. This I got from H&M last year. And um, it has, I love the sleeve over here. It's a little, it has a little bit of a puff sleeve here can't really see here, but this is like a plain long line coat. I got this in white too because it's classic, so I just I decided to go ahead and buy both colors. This one was more of a plain... So again, these are very simple coats. I wanted to spruce this up, so 
Of course I did a DIY. I want you guys to see here, but it's like, I went to M&J, the trimming store, and I found this trim here. Um, and it has, as you see here, a little sparkle. Um, it's floral, it's, it's a flower sequin trim, and it has rhinestones, and it has a black dot here, and it has a pattern. This, this is the pattern that follows through. So I just went ahead and bought just a yard of this, and I just put it, and I just glued it again with E6000 onto my coat pocket. And again, do the same thing here. So this is something that if I'm wearing a black A-line, this goes with it. And so again, yeah, I have the same thing in white. It's just easy, I don't have to think about it. This goes over any A-line skirts. Just to let you know also that when I just started out, and I had A-line skirts, I had no coats to go with it because many of my coats were for weekday, there were pea coats, it just doesn't go. So definitely, this is really a staple to have that you can throw on with longer skirts or skirts that have more volume, like a like a A-line skirt has a lot of volume. So but it really goes over it and it doesn't enhance it. Um, and this is something also from H&M. This I got from spring last season and I grabbed it because it has a beautiful scallop detail. This is something where for example I paired ahead I paired it with this A-line skirt. It just matches exactly because for color I really love blush. So if I keep the lookout for these colors and they have similar items in your wardrobe you can go ahead and always pair it together. So again H and M. Another jacket option I love is an olive jacket. This color is so good to have. It really goes with everything. It's also a neutral. Um, so this is something Again, that I DIY. I showed this in my, I showed this in my style hacks video, which I'll go ahead and link. So again, I went and DIY and added um, pearl and the gold detail here because again, I love detail on it. So um, again, it has this bell sleeve. This was a Zara jacket I got on sale. It had trim here, so I went ahead and removed it and put these on. Um, so I just love this also as a go-to. Um, it's another coat that I love, um, and of course a denim jacket always good to have. Uh, this is a light wash. I also have a dark wash. Old Navy has a lot of them. Forever 21 also has a lot of them. Uh, so I love these. Again, these are kind of jackets that I love wearing over maxi dresses in the summer or with maxi skirts. Uh, it's really good to have like a nice cropped jacket or a motor jacket. It's really good to have. So next I want to show you some dresses that are a go-to. So this one is from actually my collection that I did this past season. I'll go ahead and link it. Um, again, I always needed a classic black dress, but I never had one that was long enough. Uh, never had something I was looking for. So um, again, this is from my line. Again, it's Frady. I'm going to go ahead and test it out this past year. I always wanted to create a line. So I created this first piece dress. I'm going to go ahead and show you a video of how I styled it. Cape, like just on the sleeve. Um, and again, it's... This one is a pencil dress. I went ahead and created that covers your curves modestly. Um, so this is something where again it goes over. This goes over the sleeve. But lately I've been loving. Lately I've been loving it by just like flicking over the shoulder, letting it lie in the back, so it just flows when you walk. It's so pretty. It's so classic. And then I go ahead and pair this around the waist. I go ahead and pair it with my classic black belt. So again, as I mentioned in my videos. This, I always go to this belt. This is from H&M. It's like a Gucci knockoff. Um, so I pair this together and every time it's a Shabbos or a wedding, it looks so good. And um, I've been going to it ever since. I'm so glad I created it. So if you guys are looking for a nice black dress, this is it. Definitely go ahead and take a look. Um, and this one I just picked up recently. Um, this is navy. It's a little dark so you can't see. But this is again, it's an A-line. So I love that. It has a bow sleeve here. And to show you how I styled it so you can take a look. Um, this is from The Runway. They just came out with this piece. I their Instagram handle so you can message them. Um, they're located, again, in Brooklyn, in Cedarhurst, and in Lakewood. Um, so I love this. This fits so nicely and it's long enough. So I'm so excited about this one. This is so good for spring. I could wear with new heels. So these two dresses are a go-to. I am almost done because I want to show you some accessories quickly. So again, belts are so key. So I have my black one. And again, I have also a neutral belt here. And this is also from H&M. H&M is my go-to for classic belts. This is something where, again, I, I could pair this with my neutral A-line pleather skirt. And I put it with a white top and it's beautiful. It's something that, something that is so chic. Okay, so for shoes, everyone needs a classic neutral pump. And I 
just got these recently and it took me a while to find them. Again, it's pointed and it has a bow on the back. This is so nice. Again, I compare this with my navy dress. Um, and it goes with everything. So if you don't have a neutral heel, it's about time you go and get one or put it down on the list and keep looking for it because it will make your life much easier. That pump is so needed. I'm gonna go ahead and show you a vid I'm gonna go ahead and show you a picture of a heel that I go to, which is classic. It has an ankle strap, so it adds a little more than just a basic than just a basic black heel. Um, I'm not into until it's just a classic black pump that's a little bit plain for me and want some kind of detail on it. My heels are actually getting fixed right now by the shoemaker because it actually broke off, but I have no fear, it's gonna be fixed. But I was in shul actually and it just popped open and had to walk back like that. Life happens, what are you gonna do? So um, this is another black pump I wanted to show you. So it's strappy, I'm all about that. Um, and I wanted to make this pop a little more, so of course I DIY'd it. I went ahead and took black leather trim. I made a knot so it looks like a bow, and I just put it on each strap. So look at it, isn't it so pretty? It just adds so much more to the outfit. So I really love this too. It's another statement, go-to black pump. I will need just a plain, a plain pointed toe flat. It's so classic. This I got from Forever 21. Um, I can't find it online, but it is in stores. It's like under $25. So this I have very similar in also a nude color. Um, you can get it in any color. This is something that's so good if you have a statement outfit. And then I talked about these flats this is from H&M. Can see so much here in the lighting. Uh, there's a bow here. I show this in my lookbook too. This is from H&M and I have this right now. This is a go-to black flat. I'm not so into just like a round of black flat with my outfits if I'm wearing black. It has to have some kind of detail. So again, this bow and the fact that it's pointed. I really love this one. I had to just show you this. I love these flats. I love that it's neutral, but it has has detail on it. So it has all these gold stars and shells on it, little dots. I love this. So I want to let you know that I was, let's say, I was in Fox's again, which is a department store. So it could be hit or miss. So I was look, keeping a lookout for some kind of neutral statement flat. And I got this. This is from BCBG Generation. And I got this for around like uh, under 30 bucks. So it was a really good steal. So always keep a look out for that. Again, take these tips, use it next time you're shopping. And um, again, this is a go-to when I need a flat with a little bit of a statement. So I love these. Again, I quickly have to show you, again, my pink loafers. This goes with everything. I'm telling you, if you don't have it, H&M has this right now. Because again, it has this gold buckle detail that just adds so much. So again, this is another go-to. Okay, so I want to show you some bags that go with everything. So um, again, this one, I see again, this is blush. It goes with my top here. I just mentioned my spring lookbook video. Um, so this, I want to show you, is so classic, gorgeous. This again is from New York and Company. Follow me for a while. You know that New York Company is my go-to for bags. Like this, also a neutral color too. So again, classic. You have to get this if you don't have something like this. It goes with everything. Another classic is something I picked up recently. This I picked up from Target. So I want to go ahead and show you. I just love that's not basic and it has a gold chain. I just, oops. <laughs> I just love this. You see here, it has some weight. You can go ahead and just clip it open. So I love this. Again, Target has this right now, so I'm going to go ahead and link it to a New Day collection. Uh, I've, been really, I've been really loving some of their pieces. So again, having a navy bag really goes with everything, because sometimes you have a neutral outfit, and a neutral bag might be a little, it just might be hiding because it's too matchy-matchy. So a navy bag is something that really pops out and really goes with everything. Of course, everyone needs a straw tote or bag. Um, I got this one Forever 21 this past year and there are so many there are so many options now on Amazon or Forever 21 I'll go ahead and link it so again just classic it fits so many things look at it it's perfect for spring so again love this next is of course a very lightweight tote everyone needs this for work if they're going out so again I got this a blush this is from Amazon I love that it has a tassel again it has detail on it I love this tassel detail um, it carries a lot goes in here and um, yes this again is something that is so nice that you can wear again for the airport or for work you need to get one if you don't have one okay so I mentioned this before but also rainbow sometimes I really find good neutrals so I found this one I went ahead and mentioned this again 
But um, this is something to copy with designer dupe. Look at it, it's beautiful. I love this. Again, it's neutral, goes with everything. So again, Rainbow has been lately also my go-to for some classic bags. I mentioned this in my lookbook videos because I, I've really been wearing a lot of classics lately. Again, a classic black bag. And I love this small version. It has the bow on it, it's paired with anything. Um, stripes, denim skirt, black belly flats, very classic. And I want to end off with accessories. Um, my go-to, as you, you see me wear these constantly, so you get the idea, but I wanted to just tell you, um, in my arsenal I have many gold pieces. So of course I always wear gold rings, if you see here. And um, I love buying gold pieces from Forever 21. They have such a big selection. Like staple bracelets, rings, earrings. These earrings recently I got from Sugar Fix by Bobo Bar. So it's in Target. And I just love that it's neutral, it has a gold crisscross. Um, so again with my earrings, I just love classic gold hoops. Um, again, that was from H&M. And then just simple gold bracelets. Um, this one over here actually came in a set. And that was from Charlotte Russe. So that is also lately a go-to. I'm saying go-to so many times. Sorry about that. Um, and then um, some gold jewelry. This is something also from H and M. And actually had ha actually had a chain here. I think it was black, so I went and took it off and just wear it like this. Um, again, I have my gold watch. That's a go-to from Amazon. I'll go ahead and link it. Um, so these are really my go-to places. I'm giving you just a little bit of a guide of where to shop for go-to pieces that I rely on. I had a breath here because everything takes a while to go ahead and shoot just going through all my basics. I hope you enjoyed this video. I really want to show you my essentials, what I rely on. I really hope it helps you. Um, again, I'm going to always update my shop page on my blog, which I'll go ahead and link below per usual and also on my Instagram, on Instagram stories. I keep a lookout for anything I find that's classic that you guys need if you don't have any wardrobe. And again, I'm here to always share, share what I find with you guys and inspire you guys to keep modest. If you find yourself struggling or challenging with being modest, um, again, I go through that every day. Um, but I wanna go ahead and show you, I always stay true to myself. And I don't care what other people say. And people always tell me, oh yeah, just wear tighter, wear shorter, on and on. I hear this constantly every year, but it does not fade me. I'm not gonna go ahead and change for other people. This is how, this is my speed, this is who I am. And it's always, and I'm always gonna be like this. Um, I've been like since I was 18, I am now 30. People are so afraid to say their age. It comes with experience at 30, Okay, I feel this is going on a tangent a little bit, but at 30, I'm so much more confident um, of not... I still always, every time I think about, like, what is this person going to think, or should I change to have more likes on a picture, and this is me, so I'm going to go ahead and just keep doing me, and hope it inspires, that's the whole point of my vlog, to inspire you guys and to reach people from different parts of the world. That's the beauty of social media and internet, and that's how I use it for good. So if you guys were inspired, please go ahead and subscribe to see more videos in the future. Um, and yeah, share with your friends if your friend is struggling with it. And spread the love. And I think that's it for now. I'm going to stop talking. And um, I'll see you next time. Bye.